Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're a fan of The Gentleman, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into what Theo James, the star of the show, envisions for a potential season two. Let's explore where the story of Eddie Horniman and the Glass family business could head next. Season one of The Gentleman ended with Eddie and Susie Glass, played by Theo James and Kaya Scodelario, getting promoted within the weed empire. They've become crucial to its future, leaving the door wide open for creator Guy Ritchie to explore a season two. So what does Theo James want to see in a new season? Theo James says, We had a great time, and I think there's some excitement around it, which I'm very happy about. I feel very grateful for it because you never know how something's going to be received. Honestly, I think the challenge with the gentleman, and I think there's a version of more story to tell in the comedic Corleone family model, right? Because that was always what Guy Ritchie and I and the rest of us talked about. You have Fredo, you have Eddie, you have a nod to one of the greatest stories of all time. But I think if you're going to do it again, you need a really strong through line. You need a strong story. Because if you do it again and it's kind of just fun, wacky tricks, it'll be fun. But I think you need a place to drive towards. And I think that will be the challenge coming up with that. But I have no doubt that there's an ability to do that. Season two was never discussed when we shot it. But I think if you enter this world again, the important thing is it has to be different from season one. Season one is where we introduce the characters to the world. Then there's a backbone of story and there's hijinks within that. If you continue in the same realm with the hijinks thing, I think you worry that you detract from some of the first season and it doesn't build. And some of the storylines become a bit meaningless. So I think if you do it again, it needs potentially to move out of Halstead Manor. It potentially would move out of Britain as well for some of it. For me, again, you never emulate it because it's one of the best films of all time, but the idea of the Godfather, that his soul is properly darkened, and me and Guy always had a little bit of a debate with this. I wanted, even in the first season, for Eddie to be a little darker than he is at the very end. But I'd say if they're going to go there again, Eddie particularly needs to go into the mouth of the devil and he needs to be fully corrupted, and, as a result, the others around him don't recognize the man he's become. James's ideas for The Gentleman Season 2 would give Eddie a much darker story, something that was set up in Season 1 because of how good he is working with the Glass family. His idea about moving the show to another country echo Scodelario's hopes for Season 2 when interviewed by Collider, because both lead actors want to see the show become more about the wider world of the family's drug operations, this could be the perfect premise for season two if the show gets renewed. James laid out his hopes for season two, wanting the story to expand beyond its original setting. He believes that for the show to remain compelling, it needs a strong through line, a driving force that pushes the narrative forward. James envisions the show potentially moving outside the UK, creating a wider story that allows characters like Eddie to go through even greater arcs. Theo James's vision for season two is clear. Eddie's journey should take a darker turn, echoing iconic crime stories. James' idea isn't just about Eddie. He, along with Kaya Scodelario, wants the show to explore the broader world of the family's drug operations. Moving the setting to another country could offer fresh storylines and new challenges for our characters. Beyond Eddie and Susie, season two would need its memorable side characters to return. Freddie and Stanley Johnston, played by Daniel Ings and Giancarlo Esposito, were standout characters in season one. While their roles might change, their presence would add richness to the narrative. Theo James's vision for The Gentleman season two is ambitious and exciting, by taking inspiration from other crime dramas and pushing Eddie's character to darker places, the show could evolve in unexpected ways. Whether it becomes more like Barry, blending drama with its comedic roots, or takes a different path altogether, there's a lot to look forward to. What do you think about Theo James's ideas for season two? Do you want to see Eddie's character take a darker turn? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on The Gentleman and other favorite shows. See you next time.